How to be a man in 2021. What's going on guys? It's your boy Alex here from Boss Life in the Domination Den and probably not going to be here in this Domination Den for very much longer. Actually, I'm definitely not going to be here for that much longer because your boy is moving and I'll tell you more about that another time. But for now, let's talk about how to be a man in 2021. First of all, what you're going to want to do is take note of all the people around you and what their opinions are, okay? I want you to start by going on Instagram, going on Facebook, going on YouTube. Bring a notebook and a pen, and I want you to start to take actual notes about what everyone else's opinions are, okay? After you have done this, you should have a large collection, a large page, a combination of other people's opinions. From that, you are then going to change your opinions, if you have any, to be whatever those opinions are. To be a man in 2021, you should not have any of your own opinions. Okay, that's number one. You should absolutely just take note of what's popular. Whatever the popular thing being said is, you know, you can really get a good sense of this by looking at some of the Hollywood actors, or people in positions of power and a lot of fame, people who have a lot of eyes on them. Look at the big companies like Google and Amazon and Walmart and see what they are saying and just copy that. That's what you should do to be a man in 2021, okay? Copy the popular opinion because if you have your own opinion, here's the problem, okay? Yes, okay, you have your own opinion. Great, you've, you've independently thought through your own values and, and boundaries and from that you're able to determine what's the perfect life trajectory for you to take and what you should do day to day to become exactly the fucking guy you want it to be. Yes, all that's nice, but that's for men of old, okay? Now, the way to be a man is to copy the popular opinion. Whatever everyone else is saying, that's what you should say too. And to say it is not enough. You better believe it as well. And you better not let anyone know if you're thinking anything other than that popular idea. Because if you do, everyone in the popular group is going to gang up on you and you will deserve it for being a disgusting, free thinker. How dare you, okay? This is the first method if you want to be a man in 2021, okay? So look, this is obviously satire. And I don't have a, a bunch of other things prepared to be able to make jokes about. Maybe I'll do another video like that another time because this is fun for me, as, as you might be able to tell. But you have to know that for me, I always felt like a very weak man. As a man, I just felt weak. I'm not even talking about physically, although that was a part of it. I didn't feel masculine. I didn't feel powerful. I didn't feel confident. And in fact, I could splice in a couple of clips right here. Is it going? Yes, it's going. Hello, me. Hi. Well, I'm gonna, I have decided that I'm going to make a blog. This is going to be great. This is going to be awesome. I'm going to make like a hell of vlogs on here about my thoughts because I have like a million deep theories. I'm basically like Einstein. Basically like Einstein mixed with like Oprah. So now you can see that I didn't always express myself the way that I do now wasn't that I didn't have this fire in me, I still had it in me, but I wasn't practiced at expressing it and certainly didn't have a lot of experience getting acceptance for that level of expression either. To be a man truly in 2021, if you want to stand out, if you want to be one of the few bosses who does what they want, not what they can, then you have to think for yourself. This is just one of many, many things that I'm teaching to my clients across my various offers. You have to know that I didn't have this ability to do this. I was not that guy. This guy who you're seeing in front of you right now, I get compliments all the time about my certainty and my confidence, the way that I express myself. And I understand what people are seeing because I worked fucking 
hard to be able to do this, what I'm doing right now. To be able to express myself authentically and powerfully and confidently. It took me fucking years, man. Years, dude. But no, no, no. For a man to be accepted in 2021, you better be saying the popular opinion, which is, shut your mouth, little boy. You're a man. Mind your male privilege and just be quiet. If you see someone who's black, if you see someone who's a woman, if you see someone who's trans and they have an opinion, you better fucking agree with that opinion. Anyone who's a minority, you better fucking agree with that opinion. Anyone who's not a man, you better agree, dude. If you don't, they're going to come after you. Here's the good news. If you can't stand this hypocrisy, like I can't stand it, there is no chance that they could actually defeat you in an argument were that to happen, assuming you have the skills that I have, that I've built over time. If I was to sit down and have a discussion with someone who believes a bunch of crazy things that I'm not on board with, but that's popular right now, it's going to be very obvious to you, the watcher of this debate, who is more calm and certain and confident within themselves and who's spouting off fluffy, disconnected bullshit. It's going to be obvious to you. And probably the reason why you're here watching me right now, still after however many minutes, seven minutes, is because you can sense that I have that certainty within me. It's a difference in the way that I express myself from the type of people that you usually meet. I wanted to just make a video for you because again, it's Monday, I don't have a video for tomorrow. I will be moving soon. So I don't have a lot of time to make fancy edits and pre-planned vids for the next few weeks, but I wasn't gonna let a week go by without some video from me. So here it is just for you. And I have to express my love and appreciation for you watching this and being here because without you, I would feel very isolated in, in my expression and my opinions at this time in the world. When it is so rare to find someone saying what I'm saying in the way that I'm saying it to you and that the majority of the rest of the public is going to shame you for having your own opinion and for speaking confidently, for expressing yourself. They want you to shut up. Keep it to yourself. Do you hear the popular opinion? Say that. Otherwise, you're a bad man. <laughs> you got to let them be soft and, and not change who you are so that they don't get their little sensitive feelings hurt, okay? Guys, I'm going to call it there. Thanks again for being here. Please, if you enjoyed this, hit the like. Comment below, what do you want to see from me? Please let me know, what do you want to see from me down in the comments? If you've watched this far, please post below. I want to know because I'm just posting from my own mind. I got my team helping me create topic ideas. I want to know what you want to see, what you want to hear about. Tell me in the comments below. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed, do that with the bell because I release videos every week and this is that boss life fire. Speak soon.